Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Notwithstanding Brussels barroom chatter, will the Prime Minister uh, rule out a delay of Brexit beyond March the 29th? And will she also uh, rule out a future customs union arrangement which would prevent us doing those global trade deals which the Bank of England Governor uh, says is a potential golden age of trade. Yeah. As, as my honourable friend knows, I'd be very clear, and the government's been clear in the proposals that we've put forward for customs, that we want to enable, we want to have that independent trade policy. It's specifically referenced in the political declaration, and we believe it is important. And I'm pleased to hear what the uh, Governor of the Bank of England has said today on the importance of free trade around the around the world. On the first point that my honourable friend raises, I'm grateful that he has asked me uh, that question rather than relying on what someone said to someone else as overheard by someone else uh, in, in a bar. Uh, it's very clear the, government, the, government, the government's position is the same. We triggered Article 50. In fact, this House voted to trigger Article 50. Uh, that had a two-year timeline. That ends on the 29th of March. We want to leave with a deal, and that's what we're working for.